some patients that have a complete loss of vascular function. Okay, what happens in an acute bilateral loss? Okay, there were two famous doctors from Lund University, and one of them is sitting there. Michael Kalbach, and he's still alive, he's still my friend, and he's also a friend of his colleague, Mans Magnussen, and I call Mans the aggressor, and this is the victim. So Mans was uh, trying to do the experiment with uh, Michael about what happens if you have an acute bilateral loss. So he did a small injection with lidocaine, so to anesthetize the labyrinth. If you do that on one side, you get a symptoms like vestibular neuritis. So you get a sudden, you know, acute vertigo, nausea, vomiting, etc. But here, first months injected it on the right side and then on the left side. And then Michael was lay laying there waiting and seeing what will happen. At a certain moment, he felt an urge to urinate. And he thought, huh? After one hour. So he said, okay, I have to come out and go to the toilet. And then, as soon as he started to move, he started, hey, something changed. Something changed. He felt a little bit out of control. And then he started to think how I have to go up. And he behaves like an old man. It could be your grandfather like that. Maybe he is a grandfather already. But, and he stands there like a robot, you know, with a white gate. And he can stand, but he clearly felt out of control. And during this experiment, while he started to walk a little bit like a robot, while he was walking, he started to feel more and more nausea. But like a real Viking, he said, don't worry, I'm in control. <laughs> I can do a Romberg. He's standing there. And then he started to feel this urge again. I think I really have to go to the toilet. But maybe not only to go to urinate, but also do all kinds of other things. <laughs> and uh, I stop now the video here, and I continue with the rest. That's how he came back after having vomiting for a long time and feeling sick. And he said to me, Herman, I've never been so sick in my life before. Heavily sweating, and then he, he moves slowly over the ground, trying to prevent real movement and getting proprioceptive input, as you can see, climbing on the coach and hoping and praying that everything will be soon over again. So it was a very nice experiment, approved by the Medical Ethics Committee in uh, Sweden. <laughs> we give a big applause. <laughs> Michael, thank you very much. This is Michael. This, uh, and um, so heavily sweating. It took about eight hours, I, uh, I think, and it's reproducible. Huh? Seven, hours. Seven hours, okay. Okay, that's amazing, of course.